Are we live? Are we? We are live! Oh, okay. There. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to DD with your Dungeon Master, Cotlaw. And Moon Guys, it's, it's two D D sessions in a row. What the hell? Well, we decided that <laughs> it's best to do one this week before uh, before December takes everyone's time away for various reasons. Yeah, I know. So, mm -hmm. um, we are down one player, I'm afraid, because our dear old, dear old buddy, old pal, Jeremy, had to cancel last minute personal matter it happens mm -hmm. <laughs> dark very dark oh, dark <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah thank you moon for You're setting welcome. the mood uh Either way, last time, <laughs> last session, we were still in, uh, oh god, it's why mood. <laughs> why? Why? Mm -hmm. <sighs> last time, the group was still taking the last pre preparations to leave Swordsville. However, as um, a certain turtle friend was still lost in the city, Veronica decided to send their dear old friend out to find him, which quickly turned out to be not the best idea. However, unfortunately. unfortunately not. But thanks to fate intervening, in its mysterious ways, Veronica got a vision of their friend being kidnapped by the cult of Tiamat and quickly sought out to find him to only find the cultists, take them out easily, and saving the day before, well... Then Anything the happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, and with that, the par decided to head to Lagana straight away, figuring the authorities could take it from here. And with that, we are on a caravan. Woohoo! And, uh. Hold up. Where's the song? No, no, not that, that song! <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> you swear what? Nothing, I just swear. Oh, only one clap in my hands. This is sad. Baby. Uh, what the fuck? No, that's not it. That's too epic. I didn't. I didn't have the. Damn it! I don't have my plane song ready. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> we'll just use the great sea song. <laughs> There. Mm -hmm. That works too. So, as we are, as you are getting on the caravan and closing, the caravan leaves towards the east of Swordsville, towards the kingdom of Lagana. We are papers in check and just relaxing, sitting in your cart and um, <clears throat> your pirate friend keeping their. The sky's up. You're on your way. And the clippity cloppity of the horses and the riggedy ruggedy of the. <laughs> yes, I'm making that joke. <laughs> That's why I laugh because you knew what I was doing. I with, the wheels, with, the, with the wheels going over the stones, you slowly see the city disappearing out of view and you know you're on the way. Of the long plains towards uh, the kingdom of Lagana. Now, I want everyone to roll a quick perception check all. All of us? Yep. You said the name of the show, of the other DM. Who's <laughs> who I'm hopefully got the message to look. 
who might be joining us. He's considering, he's considering. And I have to roll for uh, Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> What's Zero! That was awful! Zero! That's, it's still not the lowest roll I see. That still it still belongs to me for minus two. <laughs> but still, zero. Um, I'm, too, I'm too busy just thinking about what's going to happen. <laughs> perception, there it is. Uh. And Robert rolls a 6 0. So, I had to look up his stat sheet, and, it, and he has a dark mode, and I hate dark mode on sheets. Don't mind the music cutting out, it's just what it is. Um, Veronica, well, you said yourself, you're too worried, you're just hoping you get a vision, you're sitting between, probably between a turtle and a sorcerer because who probably. likes to throw fireballs. So, you're. <laughs> You kind of have your mindset on other things. <laughs> uh, Robert is doesn't see anything of note. It just sees like mm, planes. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, Ozzy, as you've been rolled buff ten, you can look over the planes and you see see across the planes a few what will be still known as um, how would I call them? Empty patches, just dirt. Which might indicate that that uh, long ago there was battles uh, held here, naturally. And um, Elona, our big winner today. We, you, can, if you stare out, you can see in the distance more of these empty patches. But you also see somehow you see on the ground sometimes a few weapons or armor or other kinds of scrap or wooden uh, dis wooden things uh, all broken up clearly there this has been all kinds of ancient uh, war gear that's been left behind in the battles that were that were took place here over well before the founding of swordsville mm -hmm. sounds like a fun area to be in mm -hmm. <laughs> you inside the caravan, but it just shows that, yes, this is where wars were fought. And uh, considering that the land is full, isn't fully healed yet and there's still enough remains to show there were battles here long ago, it shows that, uh, yeah, these were heavy wars indeed. <laughs> Definitely continental wars. Um, I want someone to roll D100 for me, uh, please. Anyone may do it. Oh, okay. 40. 40, 40, 40. Ah, okay. As you ride on for about a few hours, the caravan suddenly comes to a stop. <laughs> Slowly, slowly, sorry, not suddenly, slowly okay. pick up the stuff, so it's like slowly stop for a moment. And okay. you notice that a group of soldiers, if you look, if you look outside, you see a group of soldiers standing in front of the caravan. And they walk over to the driver and start asking some questions. You may roll perception if you want. Might as well. Another 18! Another 18! Oh, <laughs> One more 18, come on. Or no. You're not good. That's how I can keep the meme going. Nope. <laughs> Seven! <laughs> <laughs> Any response for, for Robert? Another 18 plus one! <laughs> <laughs> Just for the joke. All right, um, Ozzyus. You look at these soldiers and you're like, eh, they're soldiers, all right, eh, whatever. I don't care. I'm rich. <laughs> they have nice armor, though. They have, they, they, they are. 
Um, everyone else, you notice that all these soldiers, that most of these soldiers are decked in heavy plate armor. And all have a large triangular shaped helmet with a visor over their eyes. None of them have plumage on it, and <clears throat> their commander has a luscious cape with some holes in it. And as you look closely, there is on the commander's chest plate there is a there is three silver lines to throw over the chest plate. And you can pretty much see that this is not the uniform of Swordsville. So Anyone want to draw a quick history check? I'll do it. Mm -hmm. We have advantage because you're from this region, so you probably know. <laughs> no. <sighs> Never mind! Well, critical. It makes sense in this case. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Veronica, you know this as the legions of Lagana. In fact, you notice know that this is the outer border patrol of Lagana who make sure that the junction between Silverlong and Rancho Lito is uh, always secured and as banded free as possible. The silver the silver stripes on the leader it shows that they are a corporal in the in the army. Uh, in the legions. Okay. And this is probably okay. an assignment they're on. Okay. And the crest on the back also show, and the crest on the back is the crest of Lagana, yes. But you also notice that the color of the cape is therefore is actually blue, which stands for the Western Frontiers. So they're oh, mostly in this area, so that's their things. Okay. Ah, and uh, yeah. Nice. I was wondering when they were going to show up. Oh, mm-hmm. Also, you do know that th that the corporals are m mostly uh, big, stocky guys. That's what they're known for. The corporals of the legion are mostly big, stocky guys. There are exceptions, but most of the big, stocky guys stay at the corporal ranks for some for some reason or another. Oh, guy. So just border patrol. Um, yeah. Um, the ones who also rolled eighteen or above also will hear the following. So, how many are traveling today? And the driver responds, around, well, we have a group of five. And also, in the second card, it's currently empty, but we might uh, pick some people up at uh, Rangelito or Rock Band. Ah, you see, and the assault's in front. Okay, okay. Um, we're just gonna do a quick round and then we'll, you'll get, we'll be on your way. There has been some band activity as late, but probably nothing to worry about. And with that, the, you can see the soldiers slowly go around the caravan. They don't bother you, they just look at you, look into the window real quick, but they don't really enter or stop. I just wave as they pass by. Mm -hmm. The soldiers seem to, be, seem to not respond to that. They go around oh, figure. and do the second card. They look a bit and then they give an all clear sign to the commander and then they step aside from the road and slowly but surely the caravan goes on their way again. Any discussions or are you just say like, eh, the standard. Uh, oh, can, can I climb to the top of the caravan? It's my usual seat. Again? That's where he's usually at. Do you... Okay. We're do you want... Right now. You're gonna, you're gonna I... have to wait until we get we stop again. I was about to do it when the soldiers were there, but no. Yeah. Yeah. Too late now. You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> A little late. <laughs> I was like, oh, of course, they want to go on there. I um... can try while we're driving. No. You may certainly try! Yeah, I will. I'm up for that. <laughs> Acrobatics check, then. Oh, dear. Yeah! Now I need a high roll. <laughs> As you slowly fiddle your way out of the car, out of the, the door of the caravan, the caravan cart, 
you try to grab up to the to the top. You try to pull up, but you just can't make it. You're like, huh? huh. And you sway a bit, but you don't fall off. So I don't. Can I see the top of the caravan? Yes, but you're not on top oh, of it. You're not. You're now hanging on the side, pretty much standing on the side of it. And I want to misty step to the top. <laughs> okay, how much feet? You try to teleport onto a. Mo you try to misstep onto on top of a moving. Mo mo so let's just say this: you are here. You're on the side. This is the top. You're moving at this speed. If you miss the step, you will end up here if you go straight up. I can miss the step a bit forward. Yes. But I want you I want to... But uh, do you know how fast the caravan is going? Did you check that? I'll take the gamble. Okay. Give me... Um, so, how much this way are you going? <laughs> can I still check how fast the caravan is going? Can I estimate? <laughs> uh, if you want to, if you want to see what, if you want to scare the drive for the fact that they don't know that you stepped out yet, sure you can. You can also investigate and ho or nature check to see how fast you're going. Uh, yeah, let's do the nature check, I guess. Mm-hmm. You aren't sure. You, if you see the trees go by, and you know how f and how fast the horse is. You try to guesstimate it, but you aren't sure. You think it's about that you may need to miss a step about twelve feet fo forward first to land correctly on top. If you aren't 100% sure, this is just your guesstimate. <laughs> well, I'll just estimate approximately how far I should miss a step and I just try it. Again, you need to give me a number now. I don't want to do math. So you think it's 12. Do you go for above 12 or below 12? What you could also do is... Roll d20 to see how much you want to do in general, but you can eliminate the lower numbers. Uh, roll d20 for that? Yeah, just roll d20, like... You pretty much are going to miss your step 10 oh. feet, almost not. 12. 12, so... <laughs> you're going to go for your guesstimate? Yes. Okay, then! As you missed your step towards... The, the rooftop, and you make your guesstimate with Missy stepping up. You come a little bit short, and... And, um, I want you to make a deck saving throw. To see if you don't fall off. <laughs> 12 again. Okay. <sighs> well, um, man overboard. <laughs> As you try to rebalance yourself, you fall backwards and you fall in front. And now the other driver in front of you notice what you did and you're right in front of the, in front of the other cart. And, um, let's first uh, calculate how much fall damage you take before disaster strikes. <laughs> Do I have time to miss you step again out of the way of this carriage? Give me a moment. Because that was a nasty fall. He takes six points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Ow. For falling, oh. off, for falling off a moving caravan while being on top of it. I was so close, though. So, the inertia, the inertia also screwed you over. <laughs> and, um... You can, um, I want you to make another deck saving throw to see if you can miss a step out of the way, because this is going really fast. And I'm also going to give you an animal handling check for the driver. Uh, 
It is a bonus action, so it's actually a pretty quick action. After falling, yeah, but still, he didn't think about speed. Um, yeah, you've missed your step out of the way. You get some extra time with the animal handling from the driver. Who is scared, it's like, whoa! Bye for Passenger overboard! And the caravan slowly comes to a stop. Now I can climb up. Uh, yeah! <laughs> it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course it would stop when you fall off! It would... There's another caravan behind you. They didn't notice you stepping out yet. Until they saw you fall. <laughs> that did hurt. Or you could have just asked them to stop. Nah, yeah. What would be the fun of that? <laughs> And Robert's and of course Robert looks like what? Uh, this idiot. She's gonna get herself killed. Yeah, that's oh, really? fine. <laughs> Nothing of value will be lost. The <laughs> uh, caravan slowly comes to a stop, and the first driver goes, "What the hell? Who the? F what do you think you're doing? We're moving." I know, Not anymore. I almost made it. The second driver goes. Are you uh, are you not hard, ma'am? What? Huh. That was the uh, my shirt is actually perfect for the situation. Yeah? In my defense... <laughs> I was left unsupervised. <laughs> <laughs> also didn't show the rolls, that was dumb of me. It's been a... <sighs> but yeah, um... Okay, what do you respond to? Like, are you unharmed? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just some bruises. What are you even trying to do? What kind of rodeo are you playing here? I was just trying to get up on top of the caravan. That's my mm. usual seating spot. You sit on top of caravans and the first driver goes... I've heard about monks sitting on top. I've heard about clerics sitting on top. I've heard about druids sitting on top. But never have I ever heard about us about someone other d than those what about sitting idiots? at the. Well, there's so much more. They're mostly drunk. Why would you not, not sit there? <sighs> Fine, you can get on. Just don't do anything weird that attra attracts the attention of any local patrols. I cannot make any promises, but I'll try. Oh well, that's God. gonna be a long trip. You're telling us, and I pull the door shut. <coughs> okay, and now you can climb on without any worries. Yay. Uh, with Play that... Stupid games. Huh? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Exactly! <laughs> it is just chaos. Okay. Yeah. When Alona finally sits on top of her perch, the caravan drives off once again and goes deeper into the into Lagana territory. And another hour passes, and Robert does his thing. And please don't do that again. Uh, you see Nicholas slowly getting out a book and starting reading it. Robert is just staring, is just staring there, sitting, waiting for something to happen. You alone are on top, enjoying the breeze, I guess. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I just move over to sit next to Nicholas and read over his shoulder. Hmm. Uh, what? Something the matter, Veronica. No, just need to get you just need to keep up occupied. You don't have a book with you? I finished it already. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm in the middle of everything here. It's fine. It's called it's called Man Made Love. It's about an iron forge and a dwarf woman falling in love. Well, that's different. Very different. But uh I like these kind of silly, sappy novels. You know me. Yeah. And they could, and they continue reading. Um, and not a few hours pass, and a D one hundred, please. 
I'll throw this one. Uh... 71. Okay. Let me check, double check my charts. That's not my, that's not where my charts are. <laughs> Smart. Uh, no. Okay, um, I got the carriage slowly comes to stop in what looks like, like a place with a few trees. And, um, the, dr and the, dr and the driver gets down and says, and just tells, if anyone needs to go do their business, now is the time. I'm good. Nicholas nods. Yeah. Nicholas nods. Okay. You see the second driver going down and both drivers head towards the trees to go do their business. Uh, Robert doesn't care. I'm guessing uh, Ozzy doesn't care either. Not at the moment. No. Probably in 10 minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All righty then. And... Um, after a few after a few minutes, both drivers get back on their seats and uh, start driving off again. Nothing unusual, just your typical pee break. And uh, they slow and then once again go yep yeah, and keep going on. And um, yeah, nothing of a note happens on the way. Some more hours. Pass and it's now uh, well into the afternoon. The sun is a, the sun is already past its peak, and the, it still seems. A, and the, uh, Alana, quick perception check for me, please. If you're outside, you probably would see it coming. Yeah, you can already see in the distance that there are some rain clouds are forming into the distance, and that you're heading that direction. So. Rain soon. Guys, there's gonna be rain. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. The driver says, "Yeah, we know." And one of them pulls up a cloth uh, deployment that looks like, that is that is a roof for them for against the rain, so they don't have to, you know, suffer cold in the rain. And the second driver also does it in advance. And you keep trucking along on the way. Um, and it's a little bit more time passes, and can someone roll me another D100 for the lols? Let's see what happens. Uh, Lona, your turn. Yep, I'm in. 37, 37. Ah! 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 Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Huh, how would I explain this? Okay. As the carriages move along, slowly the horses seem to be seem to become come a bit uneasy. And the drivers notice and slowly stop the, stop driving and they look around. Hmm. What's wrong? And then it goes like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And the, and then you feel the ground shaking a bit. What the hell? And you know, and you notice the fact that uh, you notice that the drivers are like, "Ah, crap! One of them made here." What happened? Underground, underground dwellers. Let's oh, hope they boy. don't attack. Oh, great. Can we just mm. move along then? Well, if we do, we we might we might trigger an attack. That's why we stopped. If there's no noise. Mm -hmm. They won't respond that easily. Can we just wait. <sighs> yeah. No. Yeah. Just don't do anything unnatural. Okay. Yeah. And um. I'm going to have to make a quick r rolly roll. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Uh-oh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Let's see. It is absolutely silent. You can sometimes hear the rumbling of the ground. And as it as you just hear this rumble, rumble, rumble. It seems distant, far. Doesn't seem to get closer. The horses seem very uneasy, but the riders keep them uh, calm. Then I have to do a quick roll, see roll. Okay. One horse startled, is, is a bit too startled and does a quick trample, but the driver quickly gets him calm. And you can hear the rumbling and rumble, 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 rumble. I'm just... And do that and the rumbling slowly gets closer, closer, closer. And uh, come on. Uh, someone decided to call me on Discord and right in this timing, and it's not important, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> timing! So on the stream, <laughs> something when it became quiet, then you hear ding dong, ding dong. God dang it! <laughs> Comedic timing. Uh. Uh, dang. Sorry, I have to load in something. The, the rumbling gets closer and closer. And tensions are high. What do you do? Relax. That's all we can do for now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Robert's like, so... What are we waiting... Do you guys have any idea what this could be? Uh, history check? History or nature? Uh, history probably, because that's probably more more for me, so... I think that works. Mm -hmm. And you rolled... a 17. You know that... Uh, that these planes are... because the soil is being loose and kicked over the, the ages, in this area, there are creatures known as bullets. The bullette. Underground dwellers that will attack any creature from underground. And even though the patrols keep them away most of the time, sometimes one sneaks by. Hmm. <sighs> They're bullets. That's what they are. Are they dangerous? Not if you're quiet. Mm -hmm. They basically attack anything and everything that they that passes overhead. But as long as you don't make a noise, they don't know you're there. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can hear, and the rumbling comes closer. It's not that big. <laughs> and with that, oh, there, there. How big is it? Yeah, okay. There we go. But with that, I'm going to have to, I hate to ask this, but you're going to have to decide what do we do? Because the rumbling is, is very close. And the driver says, I think we might get attacked soon. And if we do, I'm, we're both going to have to have to book it somehow. If we die, we die. It's fine. I'd rather not, to be honest. Yeah. I feel quite safe on top of this caravan. Yeah, you're on top it of it. it. It won't be because the, the, the horse is what drew it in. 
So if it's going for the horse, we're basically screwed. Yeah. It's not like we can check any anything that's underground. You can try and make out where it is. Bullet. Oh, we can. Do we know roughly oh. how big it is from the sound? It is. Uh, how big is it? It is a large creature. Yeah, a large monstrosity. So it's definitely. Uh, it's not gigantic. It doesn't really say here how big it exactly is. I've got an idea. Yeah. We can use. Um, we can use minor illusion maybe to create a sound further from away from us. Yeah, I was thinking that range. Mm -hmm. I can. Um, let's see. Yeah. How far is your range for that sound? Spell? Thirty feet. I can make a harmless tremor in the ground for one minute. Mm -hmm. yeah, minor illusion is also thirty feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can cast my. Mm -hmm. Tremor there, and you can do sounds, and then we have uh, some more sounds. Mm -hmm. That should work. Yeah. Okay. And we can book it. Yeah. Go for it. Do it. So, what do you guys do exactly? Uh, I make a harmless tremor here in mm -hmm. the ground. Just draw on it. Place. Just draw on it so I can know where it is. Next to the tree. Okay. Okay. And I use minor illusion at exactly the same spot to create um... noise. Yeah, noise, as if people are walking there. Okay. Or dancing maybe. <laughs> dancing would probably make more sense. Yeah. Okay. Let them dance. Sure. The, the rumbling increases as it gets closer and closer and closer, and then it's heading towards the spot. The horses seem to be very, very, un very, very nervous and try to try to uh, run in a panic. And with that, uh, I have to do two anim animal handling checks. Okay, the horses do not pull off, pull off, or cause cause any disturbance towards your illusion. And then the dirt piles up, and out of it jumps out a a large being. As you as you see, this worm like sh worm like being come out and attack the empty spot to only find nothing there. Well, we might want to book it. Mm -hmm. Go now. Okay. Again, do not do it. Okay, on it, on it. Come on! Oh, while I'm at it, I'm going to cast spiritual weapon here. Oh? Yeet. Okay, um, what did you... Oh, mm -hmm. wait, I... I didn't want to attack, I just wanted to... Yeah, yeah. There. Okay. Say, what is your weapon? Uh, a hammer. Hammer. Hammer! Oh. Also, I didn't want to do it at third level. No, I understand. Level. Yep. It's just a distraction. Oh. There. Boop, there's your hammer. Yay. And, uh... No, don't worry, they far succeeded to, to go one even roll the 20. Nice. And uh, the caravan rushes off as it goes away, and the bullet does not even know the better as there's a hammer floating there in the way, <laughs> and, it's, and it goes for it to attack it instead. And uh, I don't think we have to do I don't think we have to stay in fight mode anymore. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I really hate those things. Oh. Nicely done. You avoided oh. uh, 
find a thing. There goes my hammer. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Worth your sacrifice. Uh, wrong one, but whatever. I oh, used the right one. Yeah, there's a difference. Uh, as you as you bolt away from this creature, you all sigh sigh and leave, and Nicholas goes, God. Oh God! By the gods, those those can be nasty things towards horses. Trained warriors, they they can take them on, but horses, they yeah, can really slow much, us down. Not, yeah, there's not much that a horse can do to it. <sighs> oh. <sighs> After the. Panic, panic of the attack settles down. The caravan moves along, goes past a fork in the road. Well, not fork. In, yeah, it's a fork in the road. And then heads down towards the east as more time passes. It's starting to get a bit dark as uh, as rain slowly starts to fall. Alona, it's also raining on your head now. Yeah, that's okay. I can always dry myself with fire. Uh, uh, as the as the as the cart keeps moving, some more time passes. Getting darker, getting more late in the afternoon. Um, D one hundred for me, please. This road uh, is moon. Oh, yeah, you can do it today. Moonbird. Ninety. Ninety. Okay. Checking notes. Ninety. Ah. As the rain continues to fall. No. Oh, what the hell? Roll twenty. Chill. <laughs> Doing some weird. Hey, uh, the call from the gods saying, uh, saying players beware. Exactly. Brownie's watching. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, not Brownie. <laughs> the cards keep moving and um, there's something in the air while it's raining. You're not really sh sure, but you have this feeling. What? Mimics. Yes, every rain drops a mimic. Knew it! <laughs> it's raining mimic. <laughs> Too bad they all die from from the from a D fifty of fall damage every time they land. It's not they're not really smart mimics, are they? No. <laughs> well, if we're that high, uh, I would like anyone who wants make a quick perception check. Alona, you can roll normal. If anyone else wants to do it, you have disadvantage because. It's in the air. Of course. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Anyone else? No. Robert's like, eh, I don't care. It's rain. Nicholas doesn't really care. The drivers, they're just doing their job. Uh, Ten. Ten. Okay. Alona, you look up. In the, and then it's like oh, feel something, something in the air, and even with fluffy your backpack, you look inside like you know what something could be in the air. Look up and then pfft, water your eyes. You're like, oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's gonna annoy me for a bit. So you don't see anything, Veronica. You just decide to look up, but you just notice that you hear the annoyance of an Alona having water in her eyes, and you're like, oh, rain. Um, Ozzyus? He also decided to look up. He also decided to look up because you hear Alona in pain. He's like, ha! Ah. And then you notice something flying through the air. You can't really make it out, but there's something flying above you. Real quick. It's just for you, just a shape. Huh. That's um, not shape. <laughs> Rob was like, what? What? What shape? Ah, uh, something in the air. 
Uh, it's probably just dangerous. If it's it, it always uh, just dangerous. Could be an Could be an Al Owl bears don't fly. <laughs> it's in the name. Oh, there. Ah, it might be a griffin then. Do I have to? Is this gonna be a, a, like a like a a sea bear thing now? Uh, bear? Flying bears. Okay. Well, no. Uh, you can't really make it out. Uh, Rob's like, fine, I'll take a look. What's with roll, roll 20? What are, you, what are you picking out on? Oh. Uh, disadvantage. Oops. What uh. the? Yeah, he's still disadvantaged because you're looking from an inside to the outside. So he does a roll again. Nope. <laughs> he does. He does see this. He does see it. sort of ships like uh, can't make it out. This looks weird. Uh, and um, let me look. Let me do a little roll. Jesus, my for my for my own. Let me double check the stats. Come on. Come on, give me stat block. Thank you. Oh, more perceptive than I thought. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. You. So, um, you still get this feeling that something's flying above, but otherwise, you just keep. You just keep going along your way, and nothing of note for the, otherwise. As you head towards towards further down the east, more time passes and it's becoming dark, and the caravan slowly start pulling aside in some sort of open area with what looks like a sort of camping grounds with above. A large cloth sa sail pulled up by several pillars. And the caravans move towards it to go under it. And then they shout, Okay, then. We gotta stop here before uh, anything else. You know, you don't want to travel towards during the night. Yeah, sounds good. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So... This is a caravan spot. My, as far as we know, we're the only caravan stopping here today, so we will not be bothered. Um, if you like to sleep under, outside or something, or in your own sleeping bag, you can go ahead. But you can also stay inside the caravan for now. I'll just stay inside. <laughs> Alona, you're now dry. You're now under a under a under a, a cloth, so you can sleep on top of the caravan if you want, but uh, you're a little bit wet right now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> can I, like, use... No, firebolt moves, right? <laughs> yep, and you, get, and you shoot yourself, and you're shooting yourself with it, so that will be an attack on yourself. Hold it. If, so if I just use like burning hands into a random direction, will it dry me? Because it's so hot. Well, yes, you could use burning hands to dry yourself, but how are you using it? You gotta explain exactly what your intention are. Describe what you're doing with it. Okay, so what what is the actual temperature at the moment? Do I know? Is it, is it you can warm? do. It's a it's. A, you have to do a nature check to feel the temp to feel the temperature. I am going to do that. Oh. Um. I think I'm feeling something. It's uh, definitely not that cold today. 
It's about... Even though it's, it's getting late in the evening, it's about uh, 19 degrees Celsius. But it will take a while to dry as is. Mm -hmm. Are you going to use Burning Hand? Are you going to use Burning Hand? I'm asking because I want to know. You still haven't confirmed or denied saying I'm, a, I'm using Burning Hands. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking at how I would actually use it. Yeah, that that's the fun part. Like, if you're going to use something thing for something unintended, you got to explain how you're using it. Because the DM can yeah. you say, I used my Burning Hands to dry myself. It's like, how are you drying yourself? Are you touching yourself? Are you... Putting hard air in front of you? Are you using yes, it to I was, I was iron yourself? No, I was wondering, so if I just use burning hands, like, I don't know, towards the sky, will it generate heat? Yes. It will definitely. So would it, would it dry any of my clothes like that? No, right? But, well, let's go side. Okay, let's think of this science. Does hot air help you dry clothes? Yes. How long do you think it would take to dry, to dry in hot air? Yeah. Remember, if you hang, if you put something out to dry to hang to dry, it takes a while, even in hot weather. It's not something that goes like, oh, it's done within, within a minute. Nope, that's going to take a while. So you could do it, but... There's also one more extra thing. You need to be standing in the hot spot, and the further it away, the less heat comes towards your clothing. And then we also have to have one more, one more little thing in mind. The warmer it gets, do you think you can survive in the heat? Fire heat? I'm gonna say this. You're gonna get sweaty. The biggest problem I've got with it is that it's a 15 foot cone. Yep. And it ignites any flammable objects in the area that are that being burn air carried. Yeah, but I think she's doing it up into the air, so it's like. 15 feet cone? Oh, yeah, that's a cloth there! <laughs> We could build a fire. Clothes are wet, I guess. Oh, we could also do that, Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is like, there, are there any any trees or or woods around? Why well, can't? Well, there are a few trees nearby. Well, but is is there any wood because it's like a resting area? Mm, you, the driver might have some wood for that firewoods. Okay, then I'll approach the driver, or mm -hmm. I'll ask him from on top of the caravan. Yeah. Maybe I should come down. I'll come down first. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> you climb down the the, 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 carav the caravan cart and head towards the driver. Uh, can I help you, miss? Yeah, I was just wondering if you have some wood laying around. Uh, my clothes seem to have gotten wet from the rain. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, we got firewood in the back. It's... Uh, Meant for campfires or cooking stews and that kind of things. After all, if we get stranded somewhere it's and it's cold, we might as well have some firewood with us. Okay, so is it okay if I make a fire? Mm -hmm. Sure, it's part of the basic supplies. Fire. Fire. <laughs> you and your fire. Okay, then I go make go on and make a fire. Then grab the wood. You grab the wood from the back, you set, uh, you make a camp, and you start making a campfire. Um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I get the thing, I get... Firebolt. Hey, you have not a... Let me just say this, little miss. I want you to either make a... Nature check for me, or a survival check. Nature? Okay. Well, you find a reason spot where you think you can put a fire under the tarp and you start stacking the wood in a way to make a good campfire. And and, do you, and how do you ignite it, Firebolt? Mm, I, I think, yeah. 
From how far? Are you right next to it and shooting at it? Um, taking a little bit of distance and then shooting at it. Make an attack roll for me, please. <laughs> Just to see if you miss. So just d20 and then hit DC? Yeah. Ten. Well, the wood is struck and it slowly ignites. Wood does not have a high AC. It's just like if you <laughs> fail your roll, if you failed your roll, we I can issue hilarity. But now it's it, it, so, you make a nice campfire to cook or dry on dry near. Yeah, I'm sitting next to it to slowly dry. Fire, fire. And oh. just watching the fire. It's beautiful grace. <laughs> Neat. Oh wait, there's now Nano's also going on, so they have All right. All right then. Um, anyone else doing something? Nope. I'm just getting ready to sleep. <laughs> in the caravan. You don't want to eat anything? Make a stew, maybe. As for stew, or maybe just eat. Some, you're all eating some rations. Just eating some rations because I'm too nervous to, about everything to really eat anything else. Okay, Nicholas will do the same. I will take one ration from Robert. Just lower your rations by one count if you. Uh, where am I? At? If you're not cooking anything. But if you want to cook, you can now start. You can now think about how you're gonna cook and what you're gonna cook and how. I'm going to hunt. Ah, what are you hunting for? Rabbits, deer, whatever I can find. A quick nature check for me, please. Eleven. As no, what the? Stay. Roll twenty. Behave. Roll twenty. No, roll twenty. Just sometimes freaks out when I alt tab. Oh. Um, eleven. You decide to get out of the cart and find your luck in the rainy area nearby. You do come across some tracks and you decide to meet from what looks to be at least mm, at least, at least uh, slightly bigger than a rabbit. What do you do? I'll try to follow it. You Carefully. Mm -hmm. A quick nature check for me to see if you, if you can keep the track up in the rain. You follow the tracks and you keep going and you follow it and you walk and then slowly the rain makes the tracks fade. This would be survival, I think. Oh, yeah, survival, yeah. It's survival. Nature to find it's survival. Okay, you know what? Reroll for, for survival. Why not? Yeah, Good correction. I only have a plus seven in survival, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you follow the, the tracks easily. And you slowly come across this, what you think to be a hole in the ground, where probably something like a rabbit or a hare is uh, inside, lives inside. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm going to use the thaumaturgy to make the ground tremble. And get ready to catch it. Okay, go ahead. It's a cantrip, so. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, you cast. I just want to double check. Okay, the the ground starts rumbling, and you get ready to catch it. And out of the hole, a creature quickly dashes out. And I need you, to, and you can now decide. You may roll an acrobatics check to see if you respond fast enough. A animal handling check to see if you can, you know, 
intercept the animal's movement and then grab it that way. An athletics che check to see if you are well, also fast enough. That's another way. Or survival check to see if you can uh, also grab it. But in the way of saying, like, I'm going to put my hand towards the hole. Survival. I thought so. Jeez, Nine. Uh, Nine! That's, that's enough. As you try to grab for the creature by going into the hole, when you think, when you, when you hear those little triple travels, you grab it and your hand clutches it for a moment, but then it slips by and the, and the creature runs off into the distance. Drat! Damn rain. Damn rain. Sleepy, making, my, making your hands all slippery. Mm hmm. And with that. Well, one last attempt oh. to find tracks, I guess. Ah. Um, one moment. Oh, Int okay. Interest, 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 interest. Go away, you. I didn't ask for you. <laughs> Speed. Um. Make a quick perception check, please. Wendy, too. Ooh. 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 Let's have some fun. So, as you see this creature run off, and you're, and you're about to go down the track, track it down, you see, you see, you notice from up in the sky, something's diving down towards the hair. It's it's a big silhouette. It dives down and lands right on top of the hair. Doom. And as you take a closer look, you notice a large being um, looming over the creature. That was the word I'm looking for. Looming. And you and you recognize it, and you see a creature that you you've seen before in a different color, you know but you recognize this as a dragon, a copper dragon to be exact. <laughs> Ooh. So. Ozzyus, by yourself, what do you do? Uh, I doubt dragon would be good to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <sighs> You're funny. Nice. Why did I put that song? Dang it! Dang it, why did I put that song? I can't find my... Oh, there it is. Mysterious song time. Yeah. Oh. It, it's it, it's. So you just look at it, or you just move away. What do you do? I need to know. You just you know moving. You're moving. Yeah, I'm moving away. I'm trying to find food, not talk to a dragon. Mm -hmm. The creature just goes for the kill on the, on the hair and starts eating it. Goody, taking advantage of your prey. And you're like, well, I'm not touching that. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <sighs> the creature is preoccupied with its taken prey. And um, yeah, you just move away. You just move away. It's like, nope. And you, ha and you head towards another direction. Which direction are you heading to? <laughs> D10, please. Uh -oh. Head away. <laughs> At least away from a dragon, so I'm gonna give you a D10. But of course, going towards the dragon is out of the question. Five. Five. Okay. Okay. You this so you decide I'm gonna go away and back towards the the campsite and hopefully find some trails. And uh lead the dragon to to its own device. I mean we're not pissing off a dragon, are we? Not today. Not today. Not and also not checking anything else. So, 
move away, move away. And um, yeah, you slowly decide to head head more further. And uh, are you still gonna look for any tracks? Yep. Okay. Eat it. Okay. Well, then we're gonna turn off the music, the creepy music. Then uh, no nature check for me if you can find any tracks. Not survival, nature. Alas, the rain is 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 to put in it washes away most tracks now and uh, with a dragon nearby you probably think most prey has been scared off anyway might as well um take your losses and uh, head back to camp yep which was uh <laughs> uh d20 just mm. flat d20 to see if you can find it. Twelve. Uh, Twelve. Yeah, that's an awkward number. I can see your problem with that. Um, you do head into the direction of the camp. You don't see it yet. It's like, hmm. Am I going the right way? Hmm. There's several other things nearby, bushes, a few trees, but nothing really you said, like, this is a landmark. I've been here before. Ozzy, what do you do? I'll continue. You continue along the way, and after more than an hour wasted, you find your way back to the camp. Um, Most people have already gone to sleep. Uh, Elona, are you still at the fire after an hour? Yeah, I kind of plan to meditate here for my deep sleep. Okay, you decide to meditate at the fire. So you see Elona meditating at the fire, Ozzy, what do you do? Oh, oh that creepy smile, he's up to something. Hey, Elona. Where did you go? Oh, Hunt. Uh, there, there was a... A dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it took my prey. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. Bye. <laughs> so I take a ration? Yeah, I'll eat first. Yeah. Because if you don't eat, I have to put a punishment on it. And I'll actually also eat because I notice I'm hungry now. Yeah, you take also a ration to eat. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. And with that, everyone, you may you decide to lay lay down, and well, lay down, sit up, lay lay wherever you want to get some sleep. Whatever your thing is. And before you say, rubber does light activity. Yes, he does light activity. Namely, polishing his weapons and not going anywhere. But he decides to sleep and rests up. And, uh... After... When the first... Uh, when the break of dawn happens, Alona, you notice that the drivers are... Checking some things. And preparing to leave again. Alana? Yes. What do you do? So everyone, is the rest is still sleeping, right? I haven't said they're woken up yet. So, get up and walk towards Ozzy. Who's sleeping inside the caravan? Yeah, so I head towards the caravan. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you do? Are you going to get in? Are you going to wake him up? Are you going to get on top of the caravan like you always do? Well, no, I, I quietly open the caravan and then scream, Good morning! Ah! <laughs> Robert, Punch. you beat... Oh! You attack her? Yeah. Okay, an arm strike! Roll an arm strike! 18? <laughs> wow, that I hits! That hits! I know your AC! Yeah. That hits! <laughs> Okay, roll damage. Or... Oh, it's a static three. Oh. 
Okay, even though you just healed up your six damage from a rest, you now take three points of bludgeoning damage to the face from from an Aussie's reacting to you. Was it really necessary, Alona? Uh, what? Yeah. Well, you did the same to me last last evening. <sighs> yeah, I, yeah, it was necessary. It was funny, <sighs> although, ouch, that hurt. <laughs> Robert goes, this is why you have the saying, let sleeping turtles lie. <laughs> Worth it, though. If you say so, Nick is like, lovely bunch you have there. Yeah, we're stuck with these guys all day. <sighs> Can't wait till we reach the ranch. I climb up the caravan. Okay, you can take your seat off. Um, if you look around, uh, it's an, the rain has stopped. It's just cloudy now, so... Whoa. It's better. It's better. And uh, the driver gives like, everyone packed up. Everyone ready to go? Yep. And the driver also gives a thumbs up towards the first driver. Yep. And the caravan moves on the way again. Woo. And as the caravan moves, starts moving again. Early In the early dawn... The planes seem to be... Well... Less, uh... Less empty and with more trees and such. Like, nature has been restoring this area. You can see, uh, in the distance, some um, hillside... Some hills. As, uh, and you also see, in the, in the far distance, uh, two large mountains. Which you can only presume that's where uh, the city of Silverlong is uh, located. You're about here. So, it goes further on, and um, morning activities, you just do whatever. And then, yeah, some, a few hours pass, and um, uh, you may now roll your D100 encounter dice. Uh, my turn, I think. Yep. Hopefully. It's more fun when you guys roll it than me. 30. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. That's fine. You know that as you are, as you, as you are driving uh, through with the caravan, you, on the, on the opposite side of the road, Alona, you, you don't have to, you, you don't have to roll for this. You see in the distance another caravan coming in the opposite direction towards you. And um, slowly but surely heading your way. You may roll a perception check if you want to check out uh, any abnormalities or any of such. Yep. Or any details. Oh. Ah! The 20! <coughs> in your... Boredom, you decide, you see these things, it's like, ooh, something interesting, and you focus on it, and you focus on it so well, you can see that in front it's being pulled by two um, white furred horses, and the caravan appears to be lusciously decorated with golden ornaments, as well as another carriage behind it with a set, with a set of guards uh, being pulled by a brown horse. She, it doesn't seem to all be in flag, and uh, it is painted white as well. Whoever whoever is riding this is clearly someone of a rich status or regal status, and likes the color white. And because of that, and because of twenty, uh, he also knows that the driver up front is a, ironically a, a kobold that has uh, white scales. And golden eyes. Veronica! What? Do you know anyone who's really bloody rich and likes gold and white? This is a good one. So, Hi history! I yeah, I lean out and look and see if I recognize it. And then you can roll the history check! Yay, history check! I don't! You're, you look at it and you're like, it's like. Uh, all bloody nobles like white and gold. No one, 
don't it doesn't really come to your mind like most nobles like white and gold there's no one you don't really recognize it as something specific of an of a noble of Lagana. No, this is too this is too generic. This is like most most nobles in Lagana work have this uh, color scheme. Well, most noble and rich people like white and gold just in generals. Yeah, that's so it's most of their color scheme. Okay. Well, we'll pass them at some point. The yeah. carrot slowly comes close and the the your drivers take their hat off and just greet them, and the cobalt is just focused on handling the horses and and you can uh, and as the caravan comes by, you can look inside. If you want to look inside, you have to roll you have to roll a perception for me. See what you can see. If you want to look well, inside. I'm well, I'm curious yeah. now. So. Yeah. Well, hey. oh, okay. Fifteen. Anyone else rolling? Where were these rolls when I tried to jump, like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> also let the rubber uh, roll. Oh my god! Uh, okay. Fun times ahead. Fun times ahead. Alrighty then. Um, Veronica, you look, look inside and you do see a nobleman wearing a white tuxedo and a white and a white top hat, sitting in there. You can't really discern the face as much or the race, but he's very nobly dressed, that's for sure. Um, both Elona and well, Robert in this case. You look closely and you notice that this man. Seems to be of half orc descent. And he's quite stocky build. He also has on his belt a golden rapier. So very fancy. But uh, and he also and he doesn't even have any scars face, it's very fair skinned. And yeah, and otherwise there's no one else in the carriage. Not anything that looks particular. Well, except one thing, there is a treasure chest on the opposite end of him. Of Pro course he's traveling with a treasure chest. Ugh. Like, so Robert goes, ooh, this guy's got some treasure with him. <sighs> Don't be so surprised. They do that all the time, all the rich, fancy pantses. I know. So, it's like so I know about that stuff, huh? Yeah. It's like they're trying to uh, to boast about, uh, like, look at how rich and powerful I am. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan of it, I see. Not really. It's a waste. It makes it easier for people to know you're you've got money, so they'll they're much quicker to rob you. Mm -hmm. There's also the second card that will pass you in a moment. You want to take a look at that? Oh, what the hell not? We're looking anyway, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> okay. Um, no, Veronica, you just look at the second. I just like ah, soldiers. Probably, probably sword. So probably hired the swords. Um, Robert notices the fact that they are indeed not of. Uh, they don't wear Lagana armor, so these are definitely some sort of mercenaries. They can't really, but he can't really discern them. Alona, you notice that they mostly wear chainmail, and uh, those they wear chainmail, they have no helmets, and they carry various uh, weapons: one with a crossbow, two with spears, one with a with a large sword, and another one with a with a, what looks like a kite shield and a short sword. And of and of various races, from you see you see an orc, you see a hobgoblin, and. Um, yeah, most, and otherwise mostly humans. Well, I guess we won't steal the treasure chest then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to... They're clearly heavily armed. And you're just passengers on a... And then you have them. They just look at you and they're like... Mm. Well, <laughs> commoners. I, I say, hi! I <coughs> Uh, one of them waves back at you. Oh, friendly. 
friendly, friendly bunch. And with that, the, 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 everyone keeps driving along, like nothing uh, spectacular happened. And with that, we had to, we had fur down. Some some more time passes. And uh, yeah, that was that was a moment. Uh, it's time for another D100 to see what happens. We're on the road to, with D100s. Your turn, Alona. Yeah, yeah. 95. 95, 95, 95. Oh, that's not the right. That's not the right one. There we go. Oh, boy. That's what this note says when, when they roll this number. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> okay, let's have... Let's see what this... Let's see what this goes. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. The caravan keeps driving and then starts to slow down a bit. As you see, as uh, Elona, as you look into the distance, you see some people walking on the roads in the opposite direction. What do you do? I try to see if I like recognize anything, like if there's anything odd about them. That's either an investigation to see if what they are, or a perception to, s to see what you can see. Uh, perception. Okay. What I can see. Okay, detailed description. 19! Yay! When you try to perceive what's ahead of you, you feel a shiver down your spine as you notice that these people are wearing red cloaks. And you have a f and then you you fall back. It's like, oh god, are these people out here as well? How did they get here? You see, a group which you believe to be five people's five people in red robes. People's. <laughs> That's good English. Guys, Guys. there. Huh? What? Then... What? There are people coming, and you're not gonna like who they are. Oh god, who are they? Red cloaks. Oh, for... How did they even get here? Huh. What are they even doing yeah. Here? Wait, what are they doing even in the... So Robert goes like, like, Nicholas goes like, Well, cults go everywhere when they can go. And Robert's like, yeah, but they they were they kidnapped you in Swordsville, and why are they here in the middle of nowhere in Lagana? Well, maybe we should question them. We don't have time though. That's the thing. Also, we're on a caravan. It's on a schedule. I doubt they're gonna stop to let us question some cultists. We can take one cultist. <laughs> Alona, this is not a bargain. This is not a bargain bin for cultists. We can just take one of them because if we stop, they might take all of us. If we want to take one of them. Veronica, you said something was going on in Lagana, right? Did it have anything to do with those? Okay. I'm not sure. Right. Nick? You think it could be the cultists or I'm letting him think, recall. Mm. Not sure. Don't get me wrong. Cultists do kidnap people for their cultist needs, but as I said, these people were organized and were targeting mostly the nobility. If it is a cult, is there, that's bizarrely accurate it... for them to to go for the nobles. Exactly. Maybe that maybe they are doing something, and this is a different branch of the cult. But honestly, I doubt it. It probably it would make sense either way. Cultists would probably take those that would be missed. 
it wouldn't be missed anyway. Yeah, if for they went for people, that, yeah, if they went for people who would be missed, they'd be out of a job. Or at least it would put attention on them, which most mm -hmm. of them don't want to, unless they have a plan of some sort to use the riches of the nobility. But then why kidnap the noble without a ransom? Like, what's the point if you're not gonna go for the riches? I know some spells need a lot of money, and well, cults need money for something. And if if it is that called, well, dragons love their gold, so but still, it it's just far fetched. Mm -hmm. well, um, just... well, at least when they pass us, we can give them a scare, of some sort. <laughs> Why don't just put set their cloaks on fire as they're they're turned away from us? Did you just? Say I should put something on fire. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you tried my side. I was like, ah, I'm not gonna say anything of this. I'm staying out of this. Just make sure they don't see it's you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, well, even though you're going past them, the cultists do not seem to stop the caravan at all. They're gonna let you pass. And uh, you can take a closer look at them before you do anything. Okay. Because it could also be the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> 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 Nobody would expect that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> I don't know! Check it! I, I check, I check, what do I roll? <laughs> Investigation for this case. Where were- seriously, where were these rolls when I- <laughs> <laughs> That's the day for ya! Alright, so um, fun. you look- you closely inspect the robes and their faces and yeah, they're- they're the cultists. They all have different masks for- that look like different dragon heads. Red, white, brown, blue. They're cult. They're they're Tiamat cultists. You recognize them this easily, and the close. But you do discern that 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 one of them is a dragonborn. In fact, a white dragonborn to be exact. And they're also wearing a white mask. Well, he's just going to put on his brown dragon mask that he still has. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> okay. Sticks out his head. Oh God. Oh Lord. You're, you're gonna make me do this, aren't you? Oh god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yes, white moon raven, you're making me do this. Oh. That is surprising! Um, Ozius? They don't look up at you. Oh, okay. They all failed the perception check. <laughs> oh, wow. Even though it's clear as day, they failed their perception check because they're looking ahead. Wow, the no highest was the 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 highest just barely failed to notice you. As they pass by, I'm like, bye. Okay. I have the proper idea, by the way, how to set their cloaks on fire without them noticing. If it okay. Okay, so I grab my tinder box, right? When they're not looking, and then I set like one thing on fire. What do you set on fire? Wait, there's not a tinder box like in modern times, right? You use a tinder box to set something on fire. I'm asking, what do you set on fire? But is it, is it like Lucifer? <laughs> yes, it is. Like it matches. Oh, match it. Okay. It, it's kind of it's kind of like matches. A tinder box is something you put something in and you scratch it to get a fire going inside it. Small container holding flint, fire steel, and tinder. Yeah, so like a match. Wait, so I like light a match, right? No, you still have to put in something wood to uh, match matches it. It's like half part of a. Of, it's pretty much a matchbox without matches. Let's I have go. A swamp tree leaf. Oh, you still have a swamp tree leaf. Yeah, two of them. You, you can use it. 
Okay, I will do that. Now you have a burning leaf. It's burning. Yeah. And then I will, I will use Mage Hand to quickly like move it towards them, like under their cloak. From the person walking in last. What's the range of Mage Hand? Just show, just show me what Mage Hand is. Mage Hand is 30 feet. But I, I do it right as they pass by, like. Dilutes. Okay, uh, roll a stealth check for me, please. <laughs> so that, to see that nobody notices what you're doing. Well, they're blind as fuck, so. Yeah, they are. No, they don't see it. No. You tied with, with the highest roll. So that means they don't notice it. And the, so you move the leaf closer with your mage hand. Uh, okay. I don't know what to... Let me think for a moment. Under, what do I have to... Under the rope of the last person, like, walking there. Okay, so under the rope. Move a mage hand. You're moving away. Okay, um, roll me a d100. This is your success. This is just, this is not D100 for, for see what happens, D100 to see if your plan succeeds. 88% chance. Okay, let me roll real quick. My own dice to see what results I get. Yeah, okay. So. As the mage, as you're moving the same time, the mage, and then you try to move it under the under the cloak. The speed, the speed of the wagon is slightly too fast, and the mage head evaporates before reaching the rope, and the leaf falls to the ground. Can I quickly use firebolt? That's 120 feet feet range. No, they will notice that, right? Yes, they will notice. You got you shot them. They will most likely notice, yeah. Can I? Is it still in range? Yeah, it's. Can they're I... still in within range for Firebolt if you want to do that. But remember. Oh, I meant for mage hand. No, mage no. Hand to no, you're out of range. That's why the mage has evaporated, because you got out of range. Okay, um, then. I cast Minor Illusion as far as I can and do my original plan before Veronica came with her perfect plan instead. But And then I create the sound of a cat meowing behind them. Really loud. So, 30 feet. Pretty much where the leaf ended up. That's, no, that's a little bit further back. Um, okay. Go ahead. You do that and um, they don't turn around because... <laughs> My illusion doesn't travel that far, remember? It's also 30 feet. And you're moving, so... When the so let's say, you did this, the cults were here, leaf drops here, you're still... The cults keep moving, but you're still moving at this rate, so when you do minor illusion 30 feet, it's more over here. And the leaf is over here. They don't notice that. Okay, fine. I accept that my plan failed. You failed! <laughs> Points for points for for trying, but my illusion only has 30 feet range, and you didn't think about that, did you? Well, I'm just sitting on top of the caravan being grumpy. Yeah, so that I have to. Do <laughs> oh wait, can I still can I ask Garrix to mess with them? <laughs> you may pray to Garrix and convince them. Yeah. Disadvantage. But because you're do because you're asking a dragon god to attack a dragon another dragon god cult. Not so attack like mess with them, you know. Yeah, mess with them. You are asking pretty much a god to intervene to do a prank on a cult of another dragon god. So disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if it's a what fun do, dragon, do they don't do it. Yeah, exactly. Garrix likes fun, and especially fires involved. I mean, yeah. What do I even roll for this? <coughs> Persuasion. Persuasion disadvantage. Okay. Wow. Well, the natural oh. twenty is, it doesn't happen. Sorry. 
Nope, nothing happens. Okay, then I just... I'm, I'm Garrix does grumpy. not want to piss off... Possibly piss off Tiamat. Weak. Fine. Fine. I accept. She's not a lovely lady. With five heads. <sighs> well, that was that again. Some more time passes, and the carriage keeps rolling along, rolling, rolling, and and uh, the morning sun is looking high, with probably high above. But there's clouds in the way, so um, at least it's it's brighter in the day, I guess. <laughs> the plane, the plane starts to get a bit more densely um, packed with trees. It's, uh, the travel keeps going. Um, I need one more person to roll a D100 for an encounter before you reach Rangelito. Uh, I think it uh, was Ozzy's turn. I think. Yeah, I know. 46. 46? <laughs> what? He said, he, he made a joke. He said, I said 46 and he said, 46? Okay. Yeah, if you take 46 of psychic damage. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want that. <laughs> um, 46. Hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, you're traveling along, and then you know that, and then, um, Elo since Alona is again on top and sees everything easily as a lookout, you may roll a perception to see what's ahead. Just something said, but you may see what it is. Fourteen. You look carefully and you see... What looks like a heavy loaded cart being pulled by three horses. But I don't know why she can't make out much of it. Might best be a... Uh, Some sort of trade, trade uh, caravan, or you know, transport. Doesn't really look that interesting. Mhm. Mm so it comes I'm closer and. About ba -doom, ba -doom. My field plan. Mhm. Mm and it slowly passes. It comes slowly passing by. If anyone wants to take a look at it, you may. Otherwise, it will just pass along nicely. I mm. might as well just have a look. It's like ah, oh, three horses. Interesting. Must be heavy load. Uh, perception or what? The yeah, perception. I um, thought it was obvious. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You, it's good you wait for my call. So yeah, it's perception. Eh. Nine. Well, it is indeed a caravan with many uh, boxes and um, metal boxes on it. And you can and you also notice that that the wheels are reinforced with steel, but otherwise you don't catch the drive or anything. It's just a lot to take in. Meh. And it just passes along you. And uh, yeah, nothing of note otherwise, because you didn't see anything of interest. So why bother sticking to things that doesn't happen? <sighs> All right then. And we slowly, slowly, the, the journey ahead, and you come towards in the distance, and you see all kinds of farmlands appearing around you as you slowly, but surely, the carriage slows down and heads into Ranchelito. And now I can change music. It's going to be off, because... Uh... There we go. If it's not what I think it is, I'm going to be disappointed. It is. I knew it. Green! Well. Zoom out a bit. Let's zoom out a bit. That's too much! Welcome to Rangelito. Even though it says north, it's actually the other way around, but um, the program didn't allow me to change that, so... Your carriage 
Uh, I'll just put in the carriage real quick. Come on, load in the carriage. Thank you. The carriage token. No, oh, that does not load in. Comes in. Bop. Sorry. We had someone being a naughty naughty. We had a bot. A bot in the chat. So I oh. uh, smacked them. No, 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 no. Keep your buddy stuff outy. Anyhow, um, oh, for frick's sake, be in the right thing there. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> thank you, Mo Raven, for that lovely stuff. I what? Anyhow, uh, your caravan comes to a stop near the ranch, and the. Yeah. the is that a caravan? Yeah, that's your caravan. Two carriages. No, that's 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 a carriage. It's just a token for the carriages. Oh. So, you come to a stop, and uh, yeah, you're at Rangelito now. At least this looks like a ranch of some sort. There are many buildings around you, and uh, you and the, and the drivers slowly get off and. Uh, we're at Rangelito. Um, we have to check in with some things. Alright. And see if we get some passengers. And otherwise, we'll leave in like an hour. We'll continue okay. on the journey. So take your time to to stretch your legs if you want to. May as well. So, sure. I get out a bit and look around to see if I remember anything about this place. Robert. That's what. The... All those put, so... put your characters in. Uh, Ozzy, do you get out? Nah, uh, well, nah, uh, yeah. I'll stick with Robert. Robert got out as well. Exactly. That was awful. History check? Nope, that's uh, awful. You look around and you're like, eh, it's eventually too all right. And you just see people working and it's like, meh. Nah. Not really that much history to it. So, um, as you look around, you see people working on farmlands, driving cattle. Like You've been on ranches before by now, so you've recognized it. But you do notice that some of the buildings are built sturdier than you would see in a normal ranch. If you would like, you may investigate. Uh, I think I know why, but I'll investigate anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, that was better. 21. 19. Nice, Moon. Good job. That's what moderators do. Normally, I'm lazy. Yeah. Thanks for not being lazy. No, no. Thank you, Pengu. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, you both pretty much get it. When you look at the more structured buildings, you notice that these buildings are made of strong stone and have steel, uh, some steel on the sides to keep it reinforced. You may discern the fact that these are in fact military buildings, or used to be military buildings. Hmm. Fun times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose it makes sense with all the remains we saw when coming here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does make sense. And then Nicholas also steps out and goes, Oh, yeah. Rangelito used to be a large encampment uh, during the wars. It was considered. Was it again? Uh, history lessons. Oh yeah, the the stopping point of Commander Leto. <laughs> well, I see where I got this name from. Yeah, man, this guy was a genius, genius uh, defending in uh, defending his strategy. No, yeah, was a genius in their defenses. 
strategies un unmatched and kept invaders uh, out for going deeper into Lagana. I think the word you're looking for is tactician. Thank you. But, yeah. There was something about him. I don't know why they, they were named after him. It was some sort of event. I forgot what. It was probably a big thing or something that, uh, that he did. We'll have to look it up when we get home. Probably, yeah. Refresher in local history. Uh, can't remember everything. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why books were created. <laughs> Orbis, guys. Well, do you think there's any place we can get a drink here? I'm kind of thirsty. There should be a few places to... Should be a place to get a drink. I mean, I do re vaguely remember that from last time I was here. So that was almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. Don't know if they still have that. Mm -hmm. first thing. I think they have sort of a pub slash in place, but, but I think they call it differently. I forgot. It's not officially an in slash pub, but you know, they have travelers that want to stay, drink, and eat, so they made it. It's sort of a place like that. Oh. A gooder? Oh, uh, sure. Um, I have to roll and I need to roll for him. Hey, quick check. He has no idea where, he has, he's looking around, he's like, is it the military building or is it the play, or is it the change stable? Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. He clearly doesn't know. Ozzy, if you have a perfect sense of direction, do you want to take an attempt? Yes. Okay, please roll me your perceptions to see if you can see the building, the correct building. Seventeen. Yeah, you pretty much see like, hey, there's a, that place has a sign hanging out. Uh, that's a sign for ah, that's a that's a beer keg. Oh, that's a beer that's a beer uh, glass. All right, this building, a beer stein. Yeah, a beer stein. It's called a beer stein. It's called a beer stein. Thank you. That's well, right here. Let's go there. Robert just follows. Of course, that's where he's going. Ugh, may as well. Yeah. White Robert! I didn't want to create a white Robert! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to move his icon. So you all follow, and Nicholas follows along, and you head into the pub. Or at least what looks like a pub. Because when you enter, you just see what looks like a, there's a bar with a few stools and two sets of tables with, with chairs around them. It's very small. Oh. <coughs> Holy shit, I have a cough. Holy. <coughs> it wasn't choking. No. <coughs> you okay? Ah, okay. I'm fine now. <laughs> that came out of nothing. <laughs> so like oh, the sun, it was like out of a heavy. Itching my throat, it's like, ah! <clears throat> so, and you see, in, in, it, does, it looks more like a. What looks like the. If you look around, you see that it was pretty much sort of a living, ro living room being changed into a small bar. And uh, you, yeah, then you see behind you a. a large, uh, stocky barmaid. <clears throat> what do you do? Hmm. May as well check out, uh, ask the barmaid if she has something to drink while we wait for the caravan to get ready. Yeah, three beers, please. <laughs> Robert's like, free? Who's not drinking yeah. beer? What? Who's not drinking beer? Lona, I don't like her. 
I already kind of expected that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, a bully. <laughs> Did you realize there's five of us, not for, not four, right? Five. Nicholas. Oh, make it four. Okay. And the barmaid. I the... quickly take one of the beer before you can hand them out to other people. Well, the barmaid starts making beer as you head towards the bar. And put that for um self of sleight of hand to see if you can to, to see if you're snatching it from and uh, everyone else also can uh, roll their own sleight of hand. <laughs> to right. see who, to see who loses. Who catches first? Yeah. This for Robert. <laughs> Nick. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone beat you. Oops. So, yeah. as you try to go for it and drop your drink, everybody knows what you're doing. No, they grab their own drinks. Like <laughs> <laughs> he's so, treating so us. He's like Rob's. Like Oz is treating us. You're gonna have to buy your own. Oh, and he takes well. a sip. <laughs> Coffee exist here? Huh? <laughs> Does coffee exist here? Coffee? Yeah. You may ask. Do you have any coffee? Or first coffee, yeah? Uh the barmaid looks back at you and goes, Coffee? No. This is a ranch. We don't uh, grow coffee here. You should probably be at a port town for that. How about tea? That's also a poor time thing. We don't import coffee or tea here, I'm afraid. I'm not really used to this kind of sound, sorry. So what else do you have besides beer? Well, we have um, some milk. Goat milk or cow milk. As well as a... A grape juice. I'll take the juice. Beer is for people without taste. Alright. Uh, by the way, each beer costs one silver. Ah. And, and the grape juice is uh, also one silver. So pretty much, pretty much one silver charges. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she pours you a, a glass of grape juice. Mm. It tastes nicely. I mean, it's a nice... Uh, Nothing to say like, wow, this is the best grape juice ever. It's like, yeah, it's a good grape juice. I, I like it. Like, yeah, it's really good. And the beer's also just, yeah, it's just good. Nothing to say like, wow, this is the best thing ever. It's that. Like, yeah, it's good. Can't complain. And uh, they're sitting drinking and Nicholas, uh, and then Nicholas looks at Veronica. So, got any plans to think, to, to know where... Kidnappers could have taken uh, your husband. Uh, that's a good one. I wouldn't know really. I'd have to see it, see the, the the place before to see what the damage is. Might be able to do something from that. As far as I know, uh, investig in investigator the invested that investigator. Ah! <laughs> Investigation. No, investigatory uh, body. You know, the the people in charge of investigation pretty much wanted to keep the crime scene untouched as long as possible. So. Good. So that no Good one, so that no yeah. one uh, could tamper with the crime scene even after. And considering the lady of the house was out anyway, and most of the servants were just there, nobody touched the area. So. <sighs> Good. It also allows me. To, it also allowed me to well do the, do this mill uh, work thing. Mhm. Mm we'll just have to see how it goes when we get there. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Well, nice beer at least. That's one good thing. All right. This does taste kind of familiar. I may have had this before on my on the way out of here. Uh. You were never the one to sit still for long. Not really. 
You all enjoy your drink, and you see, and you all seem a bit, bit more cheery. And uh, some time passes, so, so I'm guessing you're gonna all head back to the to the carriage, or you want uh, anything you you want to do? Nah, let's just head back. At least I'm heading back. Mm -hmm. I'm climbing on top again. <laughs> of course you do. No, that's not the point. I'm looking for some notes. Roof or is it cloth leather? What? The roof of the carriage. Is it wood? It's wood. Aww. It can burn. I know. It was gonna be burnable anyway. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm checking some notes, checking some things. Okay, cool. No, you just have to go. You say you get back in your carriage. You, you don't really, you see the locals do their work. They're very, they seem very vigilant. Diligent. Diligent. Yeah, I was like, wait, that's diligent. Moron. Mm-hmm. And you go oh, back the on the road as you leave Ranch Lito behind. Mm -hmm. And before we go on, what the hell? White space. <laughs> oh, right, that's the white space. Um, before we go on, uh, anyone want to roll a quick perception? See if we got any new passengers on board the other carriage. Ah, uh, might as well. Sure. Robert doesn't care. Oh. <laughs> okay, that that was awful. You have no idea. Lona, you want to check? No, I'm already ready to have move no. on. Okay, well, that's at least uh, that thing has been taken care of. And the journey continues! Oh, that. Can we make it to Lagana this session? <laughs> back, back on the road! With the carriage. And everyone, and as the carriage heads out, you slowly see the farmland disappear from your view, and you see good old plains and hills in the distance, as well as further ahead, another mountain. Mm, anything you guys want to do? Talk. Whatever. Enjoying the view. Enjoying the view? Ozzyus? No? Okay. Dumping the roof. <laughs> dunk, dunk, dunk. Uh, you know what? Um, roll quick perception for me, Alona. Let's have some fun with this. Oh, why? Yeah, what you. This? You. <laughs> the most pointless roll. The most pointless twenty-four perception. I would say for just something fun. Yes, you hear the loud tunk, 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 and you notice even the direct where it is directly below you where it's being tunk, tunk, tunk from. So you can hear. So you hear tunk. So you, you're like, hey, someone's knocking on the on the roof. And you, 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 you know exactly where it is. What's up? I'm walking, don't hear anything. Uh. <laughs> that's the, that's the <laughs> thing. Oh, this is just like, uh, no, nothing. Mm. I just took, took, took back and then. I just At the same spot. Enjoyed so. The again. Yeah, yeah. Which again, yeah, Moonraven, you notice this because it's like, huh, she knocked back. Hi, kitty. Still alive. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Salt! Salt! Okay. Uh, some more time passes. Yeah. So we're back on the encounters. Roll the 100s, please, or. Oh. Uh, 
Okie dokie. Boop. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Six, six, six. Oh, just two sixes. Uh... Oh, I have nothing written down for six, six, six specifically, so you're lucky. <laughs> nothing happened. Oh, no, that is, there's still the range encountered. Oh. I don't have 100 encounters written, I just have... Specific number encounters and ranging and range number encounters and certain ranges are have no encounters. Six 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 is one of them. So nothing happens on the way. You just you just go along your way. <sighs> You're sitting quite long. It's a, it's a long journey ahead. The ho and the horses just keep going, and the mountain keeps getting closer. You should be reaching Rock Band uh, soon enough for. <laughs> Is it Rock Band, actually? It's called Rock Band, yeah. But, but with yeah, a T. Yeah, I couldn't really see if it was an R or a K. Yeah. I was like, is that, is that Rock Band or is that something else? Yeah, no. Uh, PG, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Rock Band. No, it's it Rock Band. It like a K. <laughs> that, that would have been a C, though, right? No. doesn't have to be written that way. It doesn't have to refer to that word. <laughs> <laughs> filthy, filthy mind, filthy oh. mind, filthy, <laughs> filthy mind. Wow. <clears throat> Rude. Rude. <laughs> no. Uh, it's now nice in the afternoon. The clouds slowly start to part as the sun rays come. The sets coming down, and it feels a little bit warmer. Yes, kitty. Uh, okay. She's looking at me, so I'm like, yes, kitty? <laughs> She's giving you the cat look. Give me food. She already had food. She already had food. She, and she's just looking at me like I want attention. Not enough. <laughs> she's just being mopey for attention. Yeah. She just does this. <laughs> she's just staring at me. <laughs> Who she's knows? just waiting to be pet. Yep. Okay. Um, back to the session. The road keeps going. A few more trees are everywhere, and it's nice, cozy, nice and cozy. Uh, more, so, so a few more hours pass, and the sun starts to lower a bit, and you may now we'll roll for your next encounter. Hello, Seventy-one. Yeah. Did we have this one already? Did we? I feel like I've seen seventy-one before already. Your life. Nope, 71 was not an exact number. Okay. Guess I was wrong. No, um... 46 was one of the rolls. 88 was one of the rolls. 90. 95, yeah. 90, yeah, no, 88. No, 71, I mean. But now... <laughs> 88? Like, 88, 88, like, what am I thinking? No, 71 is new, don't worry. Uh... Okay. It's, it's this one. Well, that's not very, uh, very reassuring. It is. So, if you keep on traveling towards the east, in the distance, you see what looks like a, some sort of large animal in the middle of the road. You may may perception if you want to look at it. No disadvantage yeah, this well, time. It. As well, it's in the middle of the road, so. Seventeen. <laughs> I need to double check if it's this one. Okay, Veronica, it's a. It is it's something. A, it's something. Uh, where did I put that fucking note? Damn it! <laughs> of course, the one thing I didn't, the one thing I didn't prepare for. Uh, ah, there it is. 
Mm -hmm. ah, they say do that. Ah, f damn it. Thanks, dice. Oh, I, th <laughs> I thought you noticed something. No, it's more like. I said, refer to this thing. Ah, okay. No, I had to roll certain dice and I rolled the exact number that says re-roll. Nice. It's like, thanks dice, wasting time here. <laughs> yeah, I get it, music. Funny guy. Vandalism! Yes. <laughs> what are we gonna do with you? Alona, in the uh, distance! I'd say this is worth inspiration, but okay. I, you know what? I'll give you something. I'll give you. I'll give you. I will not give you insp inspiration. I'll give you uninspiration dice. Nice. Oh dear. Instead of inspiring yourself, you're uninspiring someone else. You can give someone else a disadvantage roll. Ooh. No. <laughs> Moment you said that, I was like, <laughs> oh, what disadvantage roll? Wait, next roll. Your next roll is a disadvantage. Oh, it's just like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah sure. Of course. The only di the only difference is that Moon gets to roll for it. <laughs> That's it. That, yeah, you, your disadvantage roll is rolled by the, the second dice for disadvantage is rolled by Moon Raven, and the lowest roll is what you get. Okay. Oh no, silly. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, in the distance, back to back on schedule, you see a very large being in the middle of the road, and as you see closer. You see what looks like a rolled up snake, but very large. Like, surprisingly large. What do you do? The hell? What? What's going on? Veronica! <laughs> You're from this what? area, right? Do you yeah. know any snakes that get really, really hugely large? Uh, I'm gonna need a history check, I think. Yep. Oh, well, um... <laughs> okay! What you see in the distance is known as a giant constrictor snake. And you know this because they are indeed, they are indeed known to come from the lake the, the, mostly they live the lake of creation however they're not they're also known to wander out into the wilderness towards rock towards uh, the foots of rock band oh for god's sake are you saying we have a constrictor here damn it on the roads literally oh for uh what are they doing here they're supposed to stay in the lake of creation damn it what do we do? Oh, uh, <sighs> from what you know, they're not they're not they're not uh, aggressive towards uh, caravans unless they're really hungry or scared. Well, they're more the nuisance than anything. Yeah, the only thing we can hope for is that that this one is not hungry or scared, and then we can just pass around it. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't it's want to curled up, so it looks like it's sleeping, kinda. Okay, then then we're. As good as clear, we'll just have to move around it. Mm -hmm. It might be a little bit bumpy since we're going to be off the road then for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sure. So is it, yeah, so is it just to hold up on, hold on up there? Let's let the driver know and the next caravan as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they already know how to deal with the constrictors. <laughs> and just as Veronica says that the caravan slowly starts to slow down and start heading off the path, a bit off the path, and it's gonna get a little bit bumpy. Uh, Ilona! Yeah, I hold on to the top. You have disadvantage! You, the disadvantage roll comes into play now. Oh, 
fun. So, um, I want you to make a... Hmm, let's see here. You know what, just, just a dex, just a dex uh, saving throw. One from Moon and one from you. Ah, she can do it herself. It's fine. Yeah, so disadvantage. Well, that's oh. the most pointless disadvantage ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had the most pointless advantage ever. I rolled a one. Then I rolled a two. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't critical fail. So I guess it's still it's still pointless. I still fail, but I didn't critically fail. Helps. But it's still an ouch. But yeah. Um, you're like, uh, uh, you feel like you're falling off for a moment, but you stay on. It's not super bumpy, and you did held on to something, so you don't fall off. Great. Because <laughs> you, you don't want to fall off near a giant constrictor snake, do you? What if you spook it? It would be interesting, though. <laughs> Let's not do that, shall we? <laughs> yeah, then we... And then we enter because uh, I know what happens. If, I know what happens if that happens. Roll initiative. Thank you Mine. for taking. Why? Yeah. Th it has Others to... wouldn't even participate. It's like let them die. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, you, the, the snake still needs to have a reason to attack a loda. I could pet it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss the step to it? Well, thinking about that. Oh god, I gave her ideas. Why not just use fireball on it? No. I, I, I kind of like snakes actually. They have skills just like dragons. <laughs> So would it work if I Misty step towards it, pet it real quickly, and then Misty step back? Oh no, then I will definitely miss the carriage. Yeah, then you might be <laughs> able to teleport back on the second carriage. But, um... After the you know last what? time, do you really want to try that? I'll just admire the snake from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarity ensures when people just want to just teleport around the place. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Um, I guess you will do, you're just fine. And you head toward, and um, after mind the snake from a distance, and everyone else is looking, uh, and, and the carriage comes back on the road, you can breathe a sigh of relief that you didn't have to fight a giant snake. You probably could take it, but you know what? Unnecessary conflict on the road means less time spent doing, doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. And Robert's like, <sighs> At least it wasn't a sea serpent. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, those are probably a lot more aggressive, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Damn. Those and Krakens. Those. Sometimes. The sea is a cruel mistress, and I would know about that. <sighs> and Nico's like. And he's like, how long has he been in the, on the, on the sea anyway? Too long. Well, I have my own ship and everything until, well, I crossed with the wrong ship and uh, it was an experience. That's one way to put it. I better not talk about it. So let's not. Okay. More time passes. There's awesome music in the distance. Oh, that's not what our band is. You come at a, you come at a fork in the road, and you now head towards the northern direction of the city of Rock Band. Just for you guys, because you you guys are making the joke, so now I get to use it too. <laughs> oh. um, it's starting. It's late in the afternoon, and it's kind of obvious that your evening stop and the end of the end of today's travel is at Rock Band. Okay. 
Um, roll quick D100 for your last encounter for today. Uh, Moon? Sixty-five. Is that ah, that's the same. That's that's the same range as no encounter. So no, nothing happens. If six-six doesn't have an encounter, six-five has no encounter. If I were smart, I would write this down. But I know I'm not, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change the numbers next time and do different encounters. That's why I'm glad I'm not smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's called scaling. Because certain encounters cannot happen twice in a row, so obviously. Ah, well, we met a dragon twice, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that was because you were in the same area. <laughs> yeah, well. Anyway, I'm going to do a history check in advance for when we arrive. Okay. Just to make sure, just to see how much I remember of this place. Mm hmm. 13. <laughs> Um, you remember that the fact that Rock Band is the is the local mining city of Lagana, known for gathering Rocking the. Out. <laughs> and suddenly, Ozzy falls asleep, and after closer examination, you go, you look, and. Fatality. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, um, Rock Band is a uh, is known for providing the most uh, steel during the war to Lagana. However, over over years of mining, um, it's been hard to find the right materials to keep production up, and. Um, because of that, there's been more input from Silverlong, despite Rock Band's uh, protests against it. All right, that was this place. God, this is gonna be fun. And you do, f you feel like you you should know more about this place, but you're also a bit tired from the long journey. So, yeah. whatever. Rock Band is a mining city, also, so whatever. Also, still distracted a little bit. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sounds like a rocky uh, situation here. <laughs> oh, for the but, love um... of... And we're going to... God damn it. And I forgot to put the right music on. But So oh. we're doing uh, this music for the time being. And now you... And now you arrive in the city of Rocky Bendo. Uh, it's Japanese. Rocky Bendo. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the music, it's a Kakariko village. It's not a version of Kakariko village. As you arrive from the south, you see the giant, the large walls in the distance. You see the foot of the mountain and, a sev and also several, uh, what looks like structures on the mountain. What? What are you looking at, Moon? The, uh, ma the map. Yeah. And as it comes closer, you see the warehouses and the warehouse district in the distance. And uh, the caravan slowly moves in to do its caravan thing. We're just doing one token for this, for the whole caravan. It doesn't get stopped by the car by the guards as it just moves in towards the the square here, and as and then it slowly stops. It's now pretty much the su the sun is setting, and with that, I think at the arrival of Rock Band we should call it. Sounds like a plan. Because it sounds like We're a good. Still for me, this Lagana. <laughs> well, you're in the kingdom of Lagana. You're just not in. The main, the main uh, the peninsula of Nagana. You know the peninsula of Nagana yet. <laughs> but you're, oh, well. 
but you're technically in Lagana. It's just not the the city of Lagana. <laughs> to be a little more confusing, yeah. <laughs> so, with that said, with some small encounters along the way, seeing the si with a few sides of the kingdom of Lagana, and now arriving in the ro in the city of Ma the, si the mining city of Rock Band, what lies ahead for our Astute adventurers. What do they discover in the city? Will they reach the garden? Will they reach the main city of the garden someday, sometime soon? Or I hope so. is there maybe a secret in the mines that they want to discover first? Who knows? Who knows? Mm. We're gonna have to find out next time. And uh, I believe this is a and I believe uh, this is a goodbye from Veronica. Well, bye then. Uh, it's goodbye from Elena. Bye, everyone. It's goodbye from Ozius. Bye. And it's goodbye from your dungeon master, Kotlo. Um, We're going to try again in two weeks, but don't get your hopes up because um, December is a weird time. We will not be always. streaming at Christmas, despite everything, because Christmas. And New Year's is up for debate, but probably not. So those... So, the end of the year and the start of the year, there will be no D&D whatsoever. Unless someone says, hey, can we try for that day? You will see. And uh, with that, we will say goodbye. And remember to stay charged. <laughs>